burden? Thank you, Your Honor. I believe we've met the burden. I think Your Honor gave a good outline of uh, what the um, standard is. Essentially, I believe I have the burden of persuasion. The public records laws start with a presumption that records are open. There are three, essentially three uh, uh, exceptions to that. Statutorily made confidential, which is where you get into attorney-client privileged. There's also a case law on work product privilege that I'm sure you're aware of. And as to three of that documents, we are claiming both of those. Second item is uh, personal privacy. I don't think that's an issue here. And the last exception is best interest of the state here at the city in terms of uh, keeping contract terms confidential during negotiations. We've told you that we are in negotiation with Grand Canyon University. Uh, it may not be active right now, according to certain of the testimony, but we also know that, according to Mr. Casalimus, Tucson is still very much under consideration by GCU. The terms that were uh, proposed, uh, it's important that they be confidential for all the many reasons that we've heard both Mr. Casalimus and Mr. Uh, Miranda give you in terms of confidence. Uh, not being undercut by other cities, not having other in, uh, persons or entities demanding the same deal. And the, uh, so that we believe, um, and, and we just believe it's, it's a common sense, and you, you indicated you had read my motion and the cases in my motion. It's absolutely common sense that, including for the AG opinion, uh, from the AG opinion in Arizona, that, uh, Negotiations and pre-finalization events and contracts often need to be confidential. Uh, you, the city is simply not going to be able to operate otherwise. Um, we're not going to be able to negotiate contracts really with anyone if everyone can come in and say, you know, I know you're in the middle of this negotiation, but I'd really like to see the terms that you've laid out. Uh, and I will note here that uh, totally missing from either of the uh, test, from any of the testimony by either Mr. Baldonego or Ms. Cruz, is any statement of why they need to see these documents. Is there a case law that says they don't have to show that? I don't believe so, Your Honor. I think in the case when I've made the showing that there's a best interest of the state, if Your Honor buys that, they have to come forward with a policy reason or a reason why they need to see it, more than I'd like to see it. And then you do that balance. And we heard nothing from them about that. It's just the presumption is that it has to be released. And even though the city's made a showing that it shouldn't be released for all of these reasons, I'm not going to make any additional statement of why it ought to be released. I'll be glad to um, look that up and present you the, the case. That's my understanding of it, though, is we get beyond simply you get to be presumed that they get to look at it. They have to show a reason why they need to see it, and then you balance that. And they've done nothing to do that, made no showing that at all. Um, they're, I, they're both fine people and eminent citizens, and I was very interested in their, in their stories, but none of the testimony related to why they should see these documents. What is it that is going to benefit everybody from them seeing these documents specifically that outweighs our ability to negotiate contracts with developers, basically uh, anyone, because this principle is going to apply in a let lot of ask, contexts. Let me ask you this. And this is not, should not be construed by anyone as a finding or an indication that made up my mind about how this would balance out, but, but doesn't the historical significance of a property um, at least arguably make it 
more of a matter of concern to the public if the city is interested in selling it than, say, something with no historical significance at all. That's, I, I see your point on the other, but my response would be, we're not selling it. That's the, that's the undisputed testimony by city officials who are responsible. And they've said this is no longer in play as a, as a sale, uh, possible sale. The terms that we're offering may still apply to other properties in the city, but not to El Rio. So the history of El Rio is very significant and it's very interesting. But it doesn't help you decide the issue of whether we should have to release contract terms before we finished negotiating. Let me ask you something else. And obviously, the documents are coming in camera, and I'm not asking specific. But I think Mr. Casalimus at least perhaps intimated this. Is there an estimated price range in that document? I believe there are terms relating to money in that document. There are numbers in that. There are numbers. And the other document will be numbers, some of which went into the, the proposal. That's why they're together. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Mr. No, that's fine. I'm, I'm glad you're asking. That's a good question. Um, So I, I think, that I will leave it at that. I think uh, we have definitely shown that there is a uh, best interest of the city in not releasing this information at this point. It has not been rebutted at all by the plaintiffs. And I think when you balance, uh, you should find that we do not have to release those, those two on the basis of best interest of the city. We don't have to release the three on the basis of either best interests of the city or attorney-client, which really hasn't been argued by them. And that two of them should not be released because they're, they're really not relevant. They're non-responsive to anything she requested. 